I accept universal common ancestry and I accept natural selection being the main cause of all of life. Do you accept me, Darwinists? Can I be okay with you guys? Oh, by the way, I also happen to believe in God. Is that going to be a problem? I thought so. Of course it's going to be a problem. Even if you accept everything that they say, you accept universal common ancestry to be literally true, you accept natural selection as being the main driving force of life, evolutionary humanism is still gonna get you. They're still gonna attack you. Just look at the supporters of Darwin who were theists. In the past, there were many supporters alive during the time of Darwin who believed in God, believed in his theory and were supporting him. Likewise, we have theists today. We even have some Muslim theists who some of them have very good credentials according to Islamic sciences, according to uh, medical sciences, according to other uh, fields. And they're saying, oh yeah, it's okay, let's just accept it. Guys, are you on crack? They're not going to accept you. As long as you say la ilaha illallah, as long as you accept the tenets of Islam, they will not accept you. You think it's as simple as accepting universal common ancestry and they just leave you alone? Just look at the Catholic Church. They gave an edict that, I mean, just the biggest religion in the world at the moment is the Catholic faith. That's the biggest. The Vatican has given an edict saying universal common ancestry, whatever, Darwinism, they'll accept it. They can accept that that is the reason for, that that's the cause of us being alive today. They can accept it. But have new atheists accepted them? Have Darwinists accepted them? No. And they will not accept them until they disbelieve in God. So this pathetic move, which I see by some Muslims trying to, um, you know, trying to say to them, oh, it fits, you know, Islam and Darwinism, it fits, you know, oh, can we be friends now? They're never going to be your friends, mate. They're never going to be your friends. How? Look, you know, I've seen these arguments online by some Muslims. And again, these are a minority of Muslims. But, you know, they try and say, oh, wait, some of the early Muslims, they had these ideas. And this isn't really to do with Darwin. This is to do with, you know, just the hypothetical possi possibilities that the Quran allows, you know, that Islam allows. And they say, well, you have to disprove that what I'm saying is impossible using the Quran. You have to show that this is not possible. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go into that argument. All I'm going to get into is this. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to basically suck up to them and you're trying to say, oh, yeah, let's just accept this and they'll leave us alone. They will not leave you alone until you disbelieve in God. In fact, the God delusion, the most famous Darwinist in the world, Richard Dawkins, what does he say? His idea for why God doesn't exist is based upon Darwinism. He uses it as his main premise in his argument, which is called the central argument. So it's not good enough to simply say, look, we're willing to compromise, we're willing to accept, we're willing to show that within the Islamic framework, you know, this can be fitted in. Look, there's no point doing that. Even if they accept that argument, they will not accept your belief in God. Their operating system, which they're installing in your mind, that operating system is going to say error, zero, error, zero, zero, one, error 101, there is no God. Until you disbelieve in God, they will not stop. A slave cannot have two masters. You cannot have theism and naturalism going hand in hand. You have to choose one over the other. Now, what I'm not saying in this video, and I don't mean for someone to make a straw man, that universal common ancestry means you have to disbelieve in God. No, I, I, I can see hypothetically it's possible to accept universal common ancestry and for there to be the uh, for someone to accept the belief in god and the same with natural selection i can see that that's not the issue that's that's a complete straw man what i'm pointing to is this their objective is not met until you disbelieve in god even if you happen to be a proponent of darwinism and a theist like those existed during the time of darwin or those who exist today like Kenneth Miller, Francis Collins and others. Are these people accepted by the new atheists? No, they are not accepted. And they will never be accepted until and unless they entirely give up the belief in God.